Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As I always say, if you haven't been here already, my name is Jasmine. And if you have been, hi! <laughs> so basically, um, as you can see in the title, I'm going to be reverting my hair back to curly. But you can sort of see that it's already doing that. Naturally, because obviously when the weather is like cold or something, your hair goes back to normal. So basically, I'm going to show you guys, especially for people who have like thinner hair like me. Because I know there's a lot of curly hair videos about like transitioning back into curly hair after they straightened it. But your hair is like thicker, so it's like easier to revert back. Revert back. <laughs> revert back. So I wanted to make a video like that because not only is my hair thinner and there's not much videos out there about like thin curly hair. So I wanted to do that. So yeah, what I'm going to start with obviously is combing my hair because you need to make sure that it's good. Here we go again with them sirens, but it's okay. So basically what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to be using a deep conditioner. I'm using this one, the Blueberry Bliss. This one is really good. It's a reparative hair mask and I honestly suggest this so much because I've been struggling to find a hair mask that actually worked for my hair and made my hair really soft and everything. But I learned how to use it in a better way because when what I would do is I would usually just go in the shower, just take a whole bunch in my hand, rub it together, and just put it throughout my hair. But I actually found out that sectioning my hair off, like into smaller pieces, wetting it, and then actually like putting some product. And there is a such thing, there is such a thing, there you go as too much product or too much of anything so you don't have to use that much i'll show you exactly how much i use so i'm going to clip the rest of my hair back with a with a little clip you know like those things that look like a, a mouth and then i have water here so i'm just gonna it's gonna be a little harder because like i can't see what i'm doing but i don't know going back now okay so I'm gonna just wet it, not too much, now that, that is dripping, I think I put too much, but just enough to wet your hair, like, I hope my curls aren't messed up, because I was trying not to straighten my hair at all, like, but I didn't honestly straighten it, I just got it like blown out, I guess that's the same thing, but I honestly didn't want to do that, because I'm trying to keep my curls, but yeah, this is what I use. It's like halfway gone. But literally you open this, it smells so good. Like, ooh. And sorry guys, if you hear a lot of noise, I honestly don't know how the video's gonna come out because I live on the 11th floor. And yeah, so I take about this much. And then I put it throughout my hair. Use as much as you need to, depending on how thick your hair is. So I'm just gonna rub that in and this hair mask is different from others i made a review on it but unlike other ones they tell you not to put or they suggest to not put it in your scalp or anything because like it could stay there or something but this one tells you to put it in your roots and stuff like that because they want it's a hair growth mask so it's supposed to help your hair grow obviously <laughs> so so what i do is i basically after i put the mask on my hair I put a little bit more in the ends rather than like the top of my head because the ends are what you're trying to keep moisturized and everything rather than like the rest of your head because your ends are what break the most easily. Let me pull this hair out. But yeah, so I'm just gonna comb this through one more time. And then what I do is I twist it. And you have to leave this hair mask on for at least 25 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so now after you've done the first one, like, honestly, like, you could see it's just dangle in there like a rat tail. So my hair's growing, though. <laughs> but anyway, so what I do is I literally, like, scrunch it. Like, it might not do anything, but it's just going to help form the curl. Like, this is not a curl. Like, look at this. This is not a curl because I have product in it, so it's obviously not going to just be, like curly or whatever and i just strained it but once i wash it and i wash out like the product it'll definitely curl up again i pray to the lord okay so i'm just gonna continue to do that for the rest of my hair 
but honest obviously i'm not gonna like show you guys the whole thing because that's gonna take forever so i'm gonna do a couple pieces then i'll speed through the rest and yeah so let's keep doing this Hey guys, I finished putting on the mask and it's been 30 minutes, so I'm gonna take the mask off now and I'm gonna wash my hair. And then after when I come out the shower, I'm going to be using this. This is also from, what is it, Maui Moisture? Yeah, Maui Moisture. This is a really good line, hair product line. This is their coconut oil for thick curly hair. Even though I don't have thick curly hair, I do have curly hair, so I still got it. And it works really good. Just use a little bit, not too much if you have thinner hair. And I know I look like a wet rat right now, but it's okay. <laughs> but while I'm in the shower and I take this off, the next thing I'm going to use is Maui Moisture again. But I'm going to use the Bamboo fi Fiber Conditioner. And this is really good for your hair. It makes your hair stronger and it smells amazing. And then when I get out the shower, my hair dries, I'm going to be using this Curls Oil. It goes with the actual curls line from what I, what i'm using and it's also for hair growth the whole line is for hair growth so i've had this for about almost two months now and it actually helped my hair grow because my hair was right here before and now my hair is down here so it grew about two to three inches in three months so an inch a month so that's really good so I suggest you get those products and I'm pretty sure I have a lot of reviews on all these products. Not this one though. Woo! I just dropped my hand slippery. But anyway, so I just bought this but I've used it once and it worked amazing and it made my curls really nice. So hopefully this replenishes my curls and my curls come out way better than they were before I straightened my hair. So I'll come back to you guys and I'll tell you everything after. So I just got out of the shower and I'm letting my hair dry. But you see how it makes my curls like so much bigger and I'm not naked, I have like a towel and everything on so yeah man. But like my hair looks so like curly I guess. Because my hair usually doesn't come out like this so I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then let's see how it comes out. Guys I'm back. This is my hair about 80% dry. It's not completely dry but as you can see my curls are still there. They're not damaged at all and I'm so happy about that. And another thing is that usually when you straighten your hair blow dry or whatever and you wash it your hair really smells bad sometimes it smells burnt but my hair literally smells like blueberries and delicious and it smells not burnt at all it literally smells like if i didn't do anything to my hair heat wise so this is my hair 80 percent dry but yeah guys so if you have thinner hair or if you just want a better routine after you straighten your hair to be able to have soft hair and to not have any damage you guys can use the products that i use because i believe they really work and i think they're really good for your hair so i love you guys so much and come back next time like comment share and subscribe i love you guys so much bye